Hey guys, Miles here again with Tactile Hive. And today I wanna to cover the five top safety mistakes we see in our classes and classes we've attended across the nation. Now, we're not talking about the four safety rules that pretty much everyone knows or should know um, if you're shooting, uh, because that's something that is, is talked about in pretty much every single class and, and driven in. What we wanna cover are five safety mistakes that you know, most shooters may not be aware of. We're talking about beginner shooters who are probably the ones who are going to be committing these mistakes. So let's dive right into them. The first one is the brass stance. So you may have heard or maybe read about if you're gonna to go to shooting range, don't wear open neck shirts or something just where the brass can fall into your shirt and cause you a lot of pain, right? And that does happen. It's happened to me, it's happened to many, many people out there, right? So I have a dry gun. I just wanna show you something here, okay? I have a dry gun. And so let's say I'm next to somebody, they're over here, the brass is going to come, it falls into my shirt, right? What you need to do when this happens is you need to avoid the brass stance, okay? You need to avoid just, you know, cause it's gonna be painful. There's gonna be, it's hot brass, it's falling in and it's, it's touching your skin. You need to avoid kind of just trying to get rid of it. And that muzzle is pointing left and right, flagging people, okay? The truth is this happens, okay? You have to be safe because shots do break when somebody is in the panic, right? They're gonna flag someone, they might actually hurt someone, right? So what you gotta do if that happens to you is immediately, okay? Don't panic, don't do the brass stance, okay? Yes, it's, you're gonna be, it's gonna be painful. You gotta put that gun away, whether it's your outside waistband holster, whatever it is. If you're out at an indoor range and there's a table, put the gun down, then deal with it. Then deal with the brass, okay? it's vital that you do not flag anyone. Don't brass dance, don't flag people. All right, so that's the first mistake, the brass dance, avoid it, put your gun down, and then deal with the brass. Now the second common mistake we see is an issue when people are reholstering their guns. It doesn't matter where you know, the holster is on their person, it could be outside the waistband holster, inside the waistband holster, I'm dry, okay, but Imagine now that this is loaded. So a lot of people, when they reholster, I'm carrying appendix, so I'm gonna show you the example here, carrying appendix. So notice this, if this was a loaded gun and I'm going to reholster, I want you to see, kind of in this angle, a lot of people, they'll actually point the gun towards them when they reholster. See, this is not safe. If that gun goes off or they're not following one of the rules, you know, that finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot, accidents can happen. Okay, and this doesn't matter where you're holstering gun. If you have an outside the waistband holster, for example, some people will, again, point the, the muzzle into their body and then reholster. So there's that chance that they can shoot themselves. This is even worse if someone carries their gun over here in the back, four o'clock, five o'clock concealed, or even outside the waistband, because some people are not that flexible, they will, again, flag themselves. Right, so it's important that when you do this, point the gun outwards, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate how I would do it at appendix. I'm here, I point the gun a little bit out, angled, and then down. So there's no point in time where I flag myself. Same thing, outside the waistband, I'm a little canted. I'm not going to, let's say if I'm at a, uh, uh, at a class and there's someone next to me, I'm not gonna point the gun here and then holster this way and flag someone else. Just a little bit away from your own body, all right? So that is common safety mistake Two that we see a lot, so make sure you avoid it, make sure you holster properly. The third common safety mistake we see happens in classes all the time, and to be frank, I haven't been to a beginner to intermediate class where this doesn't happen, and it happens at the line. Typically what happens is when people are in a shooting class, they'll be on the line, shooting their targets, and at the end of whatever they're doing, they're going to go back and probably load magazines or an instructor tells them that they can go get a drink, maybe they still have a hot gun, whatever, whatever it is. But imagine I have a hot gun still, so I'm not clear and safe. Let's say we're, we're doing drills, I have a dry gun right now, but let's just say we're shooting, the instructor says you can keep your guns hot, meaning you can keep your guns loaded, but they say go ahead and holster and then jam your mags, right? Or get a drink, whatever it is. We see a lot of people, they tend to be thinking about something else or they're not conscious about what they're doing and this is exactly what happens. So imagine this is downrange. This is where everyone should be pointing their muzzle. Over there is where people are actually standing around, okay? And so what happens is this is the wrong way and I'll show you the right way. So what will happen is someone is going to turn and they just literally flag people and they'll sometimes even walk a few steps before 
they holster. And so if that is a hot gun and somebody is not very aware, they could actually shoot somebody, all right? So you gotta be very safe. So the thing you gotta do, the proper way to do this is after you're shooting, instructor says you can jam your mags or you need to go you know, do whatever it is, get a drink, whatever it is, you're here before you even turn around. That gun needs to be in your holster. Once it's holstered, then you turn around. This is not the right way. So I showed you the incorrect way, but also this is the incorrect way too. So I'm here, don't just turn, even though the muzzle is in a safe direction, don't turn and holster like this. Okay, that's still unsafe, all right? That will worry people. Yes, the muzzle was down, down on the ground, but still the proper way, everything happens here, get your gun cleared or in the holster, then turn, do what you need to do. The fourth common mistake we see has to do with picking up your magazine. So let's say you're at the line doing a drill and I have a dry gun right now, but let's just say, you know, I'm shooting and let's sit, pretend this is an empty mag. This, there's a bullet in there, but I'm not gonna even touch it. But let's say this is empty. You know, I'm doing mag changes whatsoever. I'm finishing the drill. And let's just say that, you know, I'm, I'm done. And the person to my left, person to my right, they're still shooting, they're not yet done, but they're still shooting. And here's the thing. It is, is something you need to be cognizant of, right? So it is a mistake to actually grab the mag when everyone is firing, particularly if you don't know their skill level, you don't know them, and um, you know, you're not sure if they're safe or not, right? So this is something that you should keep in the back of your mind. If you don't know, you should actually wait, right? Before you bend down and grab your mag. Why? Because let's just say that Somebody's picking up their mag there. They're, make, they're going to make the mistake. I'm still shooting. And that person, this person here, the shooter on the right, you know, flags them while they're down here. That can happen. Because sometimes the mags, when you're changing mags, the mag might fly forward, a little forward. So just be cognizant of that. You don't need to pick, don't, there's no need to rush to pick up the mags, okay? You can wait till everyone's done firing and then pick up your mags because you need to worry about the person to your left and your right. Um, they might flag you. Now, if for some reason you just have to pick up your mags, you know what you need to do? Just tap, signal to the person to your left, signal to the person to your right, just kind of let them know, hey guys, you know, is it, you know, I'm gonna pick up a mag. And also you might even wanna ask the instructor if you can pick up your mags, right? Just don't go willy nilly, just go after it, okay? Because accidents can and do happen. And the last common safety mistake we see is knowing the status of your weapon. I cannot emphasize this enough. We have been in classes where people think their gun is unloaded. They think they're doing a dry fire exercise. They put their gun up and bam, shot goes off, right? You know, it's easy, it's easy. Now, I'm telling you this right now and you might think, oh yeah, easy. I, you know, I know, I know, I know. But it becomes problematic when there's a lot of things going on. Let's say you're a beginner, you're taking a class, you're taking in all of this information, right? and you're just getting overwhelmed mentally and physically with the class. And because of that, you tend to forget the status of your weapon, okay? Unfortunately, there's no you know, magic way to, to really remember. You just gotta be focused and, and really understand that safety is always first. You need to understand if there is a bullet in the chamber. Do you have a magazine with bullets in your gun, right? All of that stuff, okay? That should be part of your habits where you need to know that because an instructor is not always going to be looking at everything you're doing. So you need to be responsible. And this is why the four safety rules exist. And this is why we're creating this video because there are other safety concerns that not a lot of people talk about, or I should say that are not really lumped up with the four safety rules, right? So you need to understand this. This happens during classes. So make sure you're aware of the status of your weapon all the time because when you think, you know, if you think that there's no bullets in your gun and all of a sudden something goes off, it can really lead to a bad day. So make sure you're aware. So there you guys have it. Five common safety mistakes we see. The first one was avoid the brass stance. Two is be careful when you're reholstering your gun, don't flag yourself. Three, when you're turning around, make sure that gun is not flagging anyone. Um, four is when you are picking up your mag, from uh, let's say within the class, be careful because people can flag you when you're doing that. And lastly, know the status of your weapon. 
If you've seen a safety mistake, violation that we didn't cover that you feel or you experience often, we definitely want to know about this because it's, it's important to let other people know about it too. So leave us a note in the comments so that we can get that out there for other people to know as well. As always, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one.